Good afternoon, morning, or evening. I am the Mainly Digger, and this video is about metal detecting, which is awesome, and history, which is awesome also. I, uh, two different spots. I went to the south end of Waterville, which is pretty much forgotten, and uh, in this video, I'll give you a little, a little bit of a, a history lesson on the south end, and then I go to a baseball park, which was built for the major leagues and little league or something like that. That never, it was pre-COVID, they got excited and COVID happened and then nothing, it's been there ever since. And uh, really nice baseball park, but it's not being used. That um, was condemned and then The flats and plains of Waterville has always been a forgotten place. It has an extensive history that no it was built by immigrants, French Canadian immigrants, and it became a, a Franco American community. And uh, there's has so many different ties to different parts of history. It just it's an interesting place. So today was really just about playing around and finding the correct settings for parks. And I, I found that, I found the correct settings based off advice given to me by Madison Maine. And that is to have your, your, your iron discrimination all the way up, or not all the way up, but pretty high. And set the sensitivity, you just play with sensitivity back and forth. And uh, cause like parks, are gonna have a lot of iron in them and they did i didn't show all the iron today but so i i played with mine between 35 and 40 so i'd get a signal and then i'd hit bring it to, to 40 and turn it down or turn it up however however you know whatever i felt like at that time but those are my settings today and it worked currently at green street park and uh in waterville it's the southern part of waterville the south side, south side of water, what do you want to say? It, uh, this is a penny from 1977. So, came out a nice green color until I cleaned it off. But yeah, this is the park. Just a random park that I found. The, another penny, a second coin of the day. So, uh, yeah, good times. It is from the 90s, I'm guessing, a little corrosion. So, uh, 90s for pennies are not the best years. That is pretty cool. A uh, old car, found an old car. 1956. That's pretty cool. Oh, none, another dime from the 90s. Oh, 1969. That is pretty cool. This is the old April School. It did not look like this. Uh, it's been redone and is now condos or apartments. Here is, I'm guessing where the kids played, but they, they've turned it into a, a baseball field, like a, a like Little League baseball field. World. They were gonna have the World Series of, of baseball, Little League or something like that. No, I don't really know, but they built it up. So I'm gonna stay off of this and uh, kind of go around it. Just a dime, 10 cents richer from uh, 2015. I almost said 2025. Not there yet, but it's two thousand. This is from 2015. Pretty cool. So I just pulled this out. I wasn't gonna dig it because it was. It just 
it came out like a uh, aluminum foil signal, but it is obviously nickel. It came out co looking co like copper. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And uh, now it's just a nickel from 1987. Quarter, that's pretty cool. This one's from the 90s or whatever, but 25 cents richer. Another quarter from the 90s. Pulled 50 cents so far out of this, well, 55 cents technically. Anyway, very cool. So this is what I pulled out of my pockets. This is obviously all, all the trash that I picked out today. I picked out a lot of more, a lot more trash, but uh, I threw it away. And uh, this is, I, got, I made out like a bandit today. So dollar twenty-five plus some some change, figuratively. <laughs> um, so I made out like a bandit today. So I got a dollar twenty-five and uh, some pennies and clad pretty much clad and then this this bad boy right there get that get the dirt off that and uh this guy which i still don't know but it was a good day a good time it was scouting like i was just scouting around I really had no plan i had a couple spots that i read about the the averill high school older averill old averill built old averill school so i wanted to go here which i'm currently at and then uh i wanted to go i just figured i'd go to the south end go to the park or south side because everybody always forgets about the south the south end and it's uh it's kind of for, a forgotten part about a part of waterville that no one really thinks about but it is actually sleeting yesterday was it was a decent day i tried to go out i didn't find anything uh friday i made the video friday was awesome um nice and warm today is not nice and warm today it's sleeting right now so i'm gonna go home and clean up and make this video I need to go. so the book is called bakuba bones and blood by aaron lee marshall who's also the he did the artwork too i'll throw some some pictures in here of of his art which is mostly graphic stuff it's all graphic like it's graphic but it's graphic novel type stuff Bakuba Bones and Blood is about Aaron's deployment to Iraq in 2004. And uh, it's he went to Bakuba, which is the same place my first deployment was in 07. And just the way he describes what happened and things that happened is, a, is amazing. Like I can't describe to people, or I'll, I try to describe to people and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, and they shake their head. But they don't really understand what happened because they they weren't there so it's it's an it's an interesting book to read from from a combat vet's perspective and as someone who's who's been there because that the just the way he describes it the details that he gives is, is spot on without a doubt it's the thoughts uh i mean the drug use i didn't i didn't smoke any weed while i was over there i didn't even drink while i was over there which is unusual but the like it's a good story it just gives a lot of detail and a lot of uh, perspective uh, into the thought process of of s some soldiers to include myself it's stuff that you think about while, while you're you're there and stuff that you see the situations that that you one minute you're is normal and the next minute is is chaos and then you the next minute after that you have to go on and act like no life is normal like some chaos and and destructive terrorizing act didn't just happen and uh the kinds of it kind of explains his 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 uh journey and struggle when he got back and uh it's just a good book